Thanks for checking out this video. So this is one that I've had to wait quite a while to be able to do because it took a long time to get this. So this is a haul video of a bunch of Blu-rays. I got eight Blu-rays actually. Um, through Zavi, I don't know if people are familiar with Zavi. Uh, it's a UK company, but they also have like a US website so they can sell to the United States. They kind of, you know, separate those things. And they were having for Black Friday, which is when I made this purchase, which, yeah, it's been a while since then. Uh, they were having a special where it was basically um, $10 per Blu-ray of some select horror films. Actually, select films, but I was searching only for horror. And I found they had a lot of Giallo, because if you f are familiar with my channel and been watching my reviews, I've been reviewing a lot of Giallo films. I love that subgenre, so I was like, I need to own more of these and actually get my hands on some ones I haven't seen just to experience them, especially if they're on the cheaper end, like 10 bucks per Blu-ray. So that was an amazing deal. I haven't seen them have a deal like that since. So I jumped on it. So I got eight. Uh, so basically, I got eight for the price of four, which was wonderful. So I picked some up that I've already seen. Half of them I've already seen, and half I have not. And that was kind of my intent. I, just, I was like, I'm going to buy these four that I really want to have in my collection, and then I'll also buy another four that I want to roll the dice on. Now, there were other ones I considered getting, but I wanted to kind of limit things a little bit, so I just picked what had the highest ratings on IMDb of the ones I haven't seen. So, we'll go over the ones I haven't seen yet. I'm not going to read the synopses on the back of what they are, because the first time I see a Giallo film, I don't want to know anything about it. Like, I want to go in totally blind. That's the way I like to experience it, so I won't be reading that. So, if you see these and you have interest, just go to IMDb and kind of read the synopsis, but... Yeah, so the first one I got is the, uh, oh, actually, before I do that, I should probably tell you why it took so long to get this. I know a lot of people are like, duh, the USPS has been severely backed up and UPS and FedEx and all that because of, you know, the increase in packages and stuff like that. Well, it was some of that, but also it was coming from the UK, so it had to go through customs. And then on top of that, something I hate that Zavi does is that they ship each individual blu-ray separately how does that make sense i would assume that costs more and it's dumb so i literally had to wait as they trickled in one by one i think there was one time i went to my uh mailbox and i had two in there all the other ones it was one at a time and that just it took a long time to get it so it sucks so all actually uh another thing i should tell you is all of them are arrow video releases uh so they have a lot of arrow stuff on zavi so and zavi z-a-v-v-i if people want to know so anyway the first one that i have not seen yet is the pajama girl case uh if anyone knows anything about that don't spoil anything but make a comment down here do you think i will like it or not or do you like it in particular um, Ray Milland and, and Delilah De Lazaro. Who's it by? Um, yeah, I'm not going to look too, too far into that. Uh, I see assistant director on here. Anyway, I think this is an Australian one, if I'm not mistaken, but very interested. Give you an up close to that cool artwork on it. I mean, that's one of the things is that Arrow does a really good job with their, um, cover art for Blu-rays and everything. Now, when I got these, I uh, it had, you know, these little, uh, I guess that's like a, a British, like, rating system, basically. And then that made me a little bit concerned. I was like, oh, no, I didn't check to see what region these are. Am I going to be able to play these? So I was freaking out a little bit because I think they are region B because, like, legitimately, um, they have, like, the B on there, like the little world symbol and a B on there. Um, but my Xbox One plays it, so I, I tested them out, and it plays it, so I was very relieved that I didn't just, you know, waste my money for no reason, but anyway, excited to check this one out, the Pajama Girl case, watch for a review on that on my channel, I don't know if it's going to be super soon or not, but it'll be happening. The next one, which is one I have also not seen, and I love the cover up for this one, very cool, plus the name as well, uh, Duccio Tessari's the Bloodstained Butterfly. Once again, if you've seen this one and you know stuff about it, don't spoil it, but comments let me know if you if you think I'll like it or if you liked it. I think that looks really good. Very, very excited to check this one out. Once again, I'll have a review on my channel. You can look for it. 
Another one that I have not seen, the third one I haven't seen, by Luciano Ercoli. Now, this is the film Death Walks on High Heels, and it has Frank Wolf, Susan Scott, and Simon Andrew in it. Once again, a great cover. Look at that. Like, the, the fear on her face as the knife is going toward her eye looks so good. Again, let me know. What do you think? And there will be a review for this one. Then the last of the ones that I haven't seen yet, uh, I've heard, I've seen some websites talk about this one being good, although I don't know, no spoilers. Uh, Sir, and I'm a fan of Sergio Martino. I've been getting into a lot of his films, and you'll see some more of his films being reviewed on my channel because um, I'm also getting another one of his films that I'll do a haul video for. I'm getting some more Giallo as well, so <laughs> I'll do another uh, unboxing for that, or haul video for that as well. So this one is Sergio Martino's The Case of the Scorpion's Tail. I love, love, love this this cover in particular. Uh, I mean, the colors on that, how like artistic it looks. Very, very cool. Um, so once again, there will be a review for this one on my channel as well. And now we're getting to the ones that I have already seen and I really like and wanted to have in my collection. And they are all by Dario Argento. So the way I'm presenting them to you is my least favorite to most favorite of these films. Um, Cat of Nine Tales, which I think is still on Shutter at the moment, so you can check that out. Once again, great cover art. Uh, there is a review already for this one on my channel. Actually, there's a review for all of these I'm about to show you on my channel, so you can check those out. In fact, I actually have a whole uh, playlist on my channel for Giallo reviews, which I think has 25, 24, 25, something like that at this point. But yeah, Cat and Nine Tales, it's a good one. I'm a fan. Now, this next one, I like it. I don't like it from the standpoint of really being believable. I like it because it's just nuts. Like, it doesn't really make sense. The first time I watched it, I was like, what? And I was kind of not happy with it. But so I think my review kind of reflects that. But then afterwards, I was like, you know what? I actually really like it because it's so, like, whacked out and nutty. And that is starring Jennifer Connelly, Phenomena. Um, it's nuts. The end is just so out of left field. It's weird. It's it's odd. Um, but it's a fun time. So, Phenomena, that's a good one to have. Now we're getting to my two favorite Giallo films, period. Uh, two of my top Giallo films, and some people can probably guess because you know it's Argento as well. Now, Deep Red. Oh, by the way, Phenomena, I believe, is still on Shutter. Deep Red is still on Shutter, and the last one I'm going to do is also still on Shutter, and I have reviews for all of these. Deep Red, I love Deep Red. It's so great, so well done. Looks beautiful, amazing film, so I'm very excited to have this uh, in my collection. Plus, look at this artwork. Like, that is awesome. Like, her screaming and all the glass breaking. If you've seen the film, you know the significance of that. Um, very cool to incorporate that into the cover art. And my favorite one, Tenebre. Uh, also a great cover. Very grisly. But, I mean, this was Argento's most grisly film. And once again, it looks great. It has a great story to it. Wonderful twists. Very brutal. It's very, very, very brutal. Uh, but it's a great film, and I not only do I have a review of this up, but I had done a live stream, so there's a recording of my live stream of me going over this a little more in depth with some other people in chat, so if you want to check out that as well, that's available. So that is it, but like I said, I have some other stuff coming in. I actually have some stuff I already have sitting upstairs waiting uh, for me to do a video on, but I want to wait for a few other things to trickle in to kind of like put those together into one video because it's just like three things at the moment and that's not worth doing it for. So I think I'm going to throw like two other ones in there. But like I said, I'm going to be doing another haul video that is more Giallo uh, because I'm going nuts on the Giallo. And the thing is, I if, if I like the film, I want to make sure I have it for my collection. And there are some other ones that I can't find on streaming services, so I'm just buying them outright if I've heard online that they're worth seeing more than once, basically. So that is what I'm going with. So there will be more unboxings coming coming out, and hopefully you enjoy them. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you enjoyed this video or any video I have ever done, please do me the favor of hitting that subscribe button. That is your way to repay me for saying, hey, I like something you did, and thank you. So uh, I would appreciate that. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell button, because then that way you know anytime I'm putting up any new videos, whether it's a movie review, one of these haul videos, an unboxing, or something else, because I do some other things here and there. But 
Uh, regardless of that, I do thank you for taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal. <laughs>